Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Hope you're having a good new year so far. So my last Wii U dump video got over a hundred likes, which is absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much. And we even got Mayro to comment on it. I really don't know what to say. But that method was kind of complicated and is now outdated by a much easier method, which I will cover in this video. Just saying, the old method does still work. However, it is far more complicated and this method is extremely easy. Anyway, with all that intro, I guess let's just jump right in. Alright, so what you'll need for this is a Wii U console, does not matter the storage version. You'll need a computer. You'll need an SD card. And the option of a USB storage device. This is so you have a decent amount of space that you can dump your games to. Alright, once you got all your stuff, if your SD card is larger than 32GB, you'll need GUI format. So go to the link in the description and download the software. Then you're gonna wanna open it up and please make sure that you select the correct drive letter. This is extremely important because if you select the wrong one, you could easily screw up your hard drive or any other sensitive information. Then set the allocation unit size to 32,000 and just hit start. And then that's it. Go down to the Google Drive link in the description. This will contain a zip file, which you'll need to put on your SD card. So just download it. And once you have it downloaded, just extract it to the root of your SD card. All right, once that's done, you're gonna take it out of the computer and boot up your Wii U console. Before we start, I highly recommend disabling auto power down to prevent your console from powering off while dumping games. And if you wanna dump online files, which I'm not gonna cover in this video, you need to save your password for your account. All right, once you're on the Wii U menu, go to the internet browser. Next, go to wiiuexploit.xyz, as you can see. And once you're on this screen, just hit Run Homebrew Launcher. Now, occasionally this will soft lock your console and you will have to reboot it and try again, but most of the time it will work just fine. Once you're in the homebrew launcher, you're gonna want to load up Mocha CFW. All right, once that's loaded, open up Dumpling. And now you should see this screen. So it's actually pretty straightforward from here, but I'm just gonna do a tutorial anyway. Uh, I'm gonna start with disc games. If you wanna do digital, skip ahead to the time shown on screen. All right, so hit dump a disc game and it will look for a disc you already have in your console. So if you don't have a disc in, insert one now. And if it's not detecting, just eject your disc and put it back in. Okay, once you're here, it's pretty straightforward. Select where you'd like to dump your game to. My SD card is not big enough to dump this game, so I'll have to plug in a USB flash drive formatted as FAT32 and select that instead of my SD card. All right, then I can just select my USB drive. The user doesn't really matter, just have it on your default one, and hit A and the game will start dumping. And it will ask you if you wanna do a scan. Personally, I don't do this as I find it doesn't work and instead kicks me back to the menu. But if you wanna try, you can go ahead. 
However, for the sake of the video, I'm just not going to scan, and we're off. This will take a bit of time, so leave your console and go do something else, and once it's done, you'll be back on the dumpling menu screen. When the dump is over and you're back on the screen, hit B to exit dumpling, and then your console will shut off. Now, the game is dumped. So, you can pull out your USB stick or your SD card and put it on your computer, and you should see the game right there. Alright, so you're ready to dump your digital games. So on the dumpling menu, hit the D-pad down to head over to digital games, then hit A. Once you're here, you should see a list of all the games that you have installed on your system. It's pretty straightforward from here. You just select the games you want by pressing A, and then it will light up with a star to tell you that it's going to be dumped. You can select as many games as you want from here. Once you've got all your games selected, hit plus to go to the next step. From here, we'll ask you if you want to install it to your SD card or USB stick. You can do either, just make sure you have enough space on both of them. By the way, the USB stick has to be formatted as FAT32. Alright, and once it's selected, just make sure your user is your default one and hit start. And when it asks you if you want to do a check, I would just hit no thanks because sometimes it doesn't work for me, so just hit no thanks, or you can hit yes and the game is now dumping. So leave your console to go, and when it's finished, it will return back to the dumpling menu. And you're done. Now you can take the SD card or flash drive out of your console, and if you put it in your computer, you should see the game inside of a few folders. And yeah, that's it. Way simpler than my last tutorial. You can go ahead and pop these into Semu now. By the way, I just wanna mention that dumpling is still under development. It is not complete. However, it is pretty stable as of recording. If you have any issues with it, feel free to post in the comments. I'm pretty active down there because I only have a small channel. And speaking of small channels, maybe hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. Or maybe like if this video helped you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great new year. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.